Welcome back to another episode of Most Michigan Beer Reviews. I'm your host, James. Today we're going to review Cat's Pajamas by Shorts Brewing Company. As always, let's go see where Shorts Brewing Company is located. That's where Short Spring Company is located in Bel Air, Michigan. Um, let's take a quick look at the label art here, which I dig a lot. Um, you know, there's always a cat in my episode, at least every other. Um, and the carrier. Here we go. Shorts Brew Cat's Pajamas. This is a double India Pale Ale brewed with blood orange and guava. We've seen tons of blood orange, and we've seen guava a couple times. Mostly the hops impart that. So what do we have here? We have a cat in pajamas lounging on this old school uh, chair with some mango uh, fabric. And the wallpaper is blood oranges and hops. He looks uh, pretty fried, if you ask me. He's been smoking some uh, catnip. Cap. And there's a brood on date here somewhere. You guys can't see it, so once I pour it, I will let you know. Cat's pajamas. Here's the carrier. It's a si it comes in a six pack. Handmade by people who care in northern Michigan. So you get more detail here, more crisp, more clear. Same as the label, only it has this uh, yellowish orange border. Good stuff. So that was the bottle art and the carrier. I fucking love it. Fucking love it. I'm a cat, man. So I'm going to read what they have on their website. And then we'll crack it. Cat's Pajamas is a double IPA brewed with blood orange and guava. This India Pale Ale is pale orange in color with big aromas of sweet tropical fruit. Cat's Pajamas is balanced with flavors of sweet fruit and bitter hops and has a resinous mouth coating feel. High in ABV, this beer finishes dry with a bit of warmth. The IBUs are a whopping 9%. 9.0 and the IBU is 71 high alcohol uh, moderately high bitter or high I guess so we'll put our phone here we'll crack it here we got our cat over here she's not wearing pajamas neither am I though I do like wearing pajamas but not outdoors. If you wear pajamas outdoors, I'm sorry. You have issues. Get them fixed. Probably just lost a subscriber. So we have here a one finger head. That is a tan foam. The color is a dark hazy orange. Dark. Hazy orange. Mmm, the aroma is of guava. Oh, yeah. That's super guava. With a hint of citrus, of course. There's always some citrus coming out of hops. You know, you can't quite always put your finger on that citrus. It could be oranges, lemon, lime, grapefruit, uh, tangerine, everything else. Clementine, kumquat. It's uh, very sweet smelling as well. And we're going in for a sip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I promise to look at the bottle on date. It was bottled on February 8th, 2017. 
excuse me. Today is March 11th, 2017, so over a month old. Happy 311 day, if you listen to 311. I have another sip. Move this here so you can see the cat, maybe. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, it reminds me of one of their other beers that they produce um, around the late spring, uh, early summer, called Freedom of 78, which is a collaboration beer, and it has guava in it. So the only different thing between this one is that this one has blood orange. What I'm getting here is a ton of guava. Um, it's a little bit sour from the guava. And there is a hint of blood orange. I, you can taste the difference between an orange and a blood orange. Trust me. Go to the store, buy one, cut it open. You can taste the difference. You don't like that cat pajama? Um, there is some like tangerine notes there, some grapefruit, uh, bitterness. It is moderately bitter, so that 71 or whatever it was. Eh, I don't got my notes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that 71 is probably quite accurate. The mouthfeel is medium to me. It is a little bit of resinous, like they said, a little bit of piney, a little dank. So it's kind of like a tropical dank double IPA. And I quite dig it. I'm a tropical IPA fan. What can I say? I do plan on doing a couple other reviews today. So um, if I'm wearing the same shirt and I look completely plastered, it's because I am. But yeah, this is pretty damn good. It is finishing dry. Very dry and bitter in the finish. But it is good. The lacing is not so great on this one. I let this sit on the counter for half an hour before I opened it. My fridge is set to 42 degrees. Damn smart fridges, they're so smart. So, done talking. I know I talk a lot, I ramble. I love talking about beer. I want you to talk about beer with me. Let's share. Um, I'm going to rate it a... I'm going to rate it a 4.25 out of 5. Again, I love tropical IPAs. That's why I'm rating it high. I like high ABV. This has it. I like bitterness. This has it. I love tropical fruits. This has that guava and a hint of blood orange. Um, the mouthfeel is nice. Uh, the bitterness and the finish is great. It's not very overpowering. It just lingers a little bit um, for about like a minute after each sip. The malt has a decent sweetness, <clears throat> excuse me, that does not overpower the hops here and the tropical fruits. So yeah, 4.25. Cat's pajamas. Still available in stores, unfortunately. Um, have you tried the cat's pajamas? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it just me? Is it the same? Um, I'm going to add a note real quick. I like Freedom of 78 better than Cat's Pajamas. Just saying. I give Freedom of 78 a 4.5. Um, but yeah, as always, please watch, subscribe, and abide safely. Until next time, cheers! Ah, it's Pajamas. P-A-J-A-M-A-S. I don't know if I spelled it right. Ooh.